Hello to all physics enthusiasts and experimenters. This is Alexei Kolchin, and today we will discuss such a problem. How can you make water flow evenly from a bottle at a constant rate? Right now, the bottle is sealed with a cork, and the water is not flowing. But if I unscrew the cap, the water will start to flow, and we will see how the lower vessel fills up. And we will mark the water levels in the lower vessel at equal time intervals. Initially, the water flows quickly, but then its flow gradually slows down. This is also evident because the stream from the tube becomes weaker and weaker, and towards the end, the water barely flows. The marked levels show how this slowing down occurred. The fact is that the pressure opposite the tube is greater than atmospheric pressure by the amount of hydrostatic pressure created by a water column of height HE. This pressure is equal to RGH. And if the liquid were ideal and there were no various losses in the tube, the outflow speed would be determined by Torricelli's formula, V2 equals 2 g. But in any case, the flow rate is proportional to the square root of the height of the liquid column. So the lower the height of this column, the lower the liquid level drops, the slower the water flows out, and the less its consumption. Nevertheless, it is possible to make water flow evenly from the vessel. And a simple device to achieve this was proposed back in the 17th century by the French scientist Edme Mariotte. So we converted our bottle into a Marriott bottle. To do this, we closed the bottle with a cap, passed a tube through the cap, sealed the connection, and closed the tube with a stopper. Now the water from the vessel does not flow. I open the cap, the water starts flowing, and air is now entering the vessel through the tube. You can see air bubbles rising up. And we will again observe how the water level in the lower vessel rises at equal intervals of time. It is already evident that the distance between consecutive marks is constant, which means the water from the Marriott bottle flows evenly. The even flow is obviously ensured by the fact that the pressure in the vessel against the tube remains constant. But why does this happen? When I open the cap, air starts to slightly enter the vessel through the tube. This means that at the level of the lower edge of the tube, the pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure. And at the level of the outlet pipe, the pressure is higher than atmospheric, by the amount GH, where GH is the difference between these two levels. And this means that the speed of water flow from the tube is determined only by this pressure difference and does not depend on the upper water level in the vessel as long as this level does not reach the lower edge of the tube. And now it's time for our traditional concluding question, and today it will be as follows. Here, I have filled the bottle with water, and now it has not one but two tubes at the bottom. They are currently sealed with stoppers. I am now opening the stoppers. The water is gushing out of them. But what will happen if I now close the bottle with a cork? Share your thoughts on this matter in the comments section of this YouTube video.